The History and Evolution of Cryptocurrency Although the history of cryptocurrencies is brief, it is undoubtedly one of the most intriguing tales of the 21st century. From rather humble beginnings, Bitcoin became a household name. In 2021, the market cap for all cryptocurrencies reached $3 trillion. Reviewing the pinnacles in cryptocurrency history is a good idea for those who want to remain on top of emerging trends. We will talk about the development and history of cryptocurrencies in this video. A Cryptocurrency Concept The discovery that cryptocurrencies existed decades before the publication of the Bitcoin white paper in 2008 surprised a lot of people. Although it continues to be the most popular cryptocurrency, Bitcoin was created as a result of numerous failed ventures. Some tech historians assert that Dutch researchers were the first to experiment with digital currencies, but the majority of them concur that David Chom of UC Berkeley was a key player in the early development of crypto. Chom laid the foundation for later advancements in the blockchain sector with the publication of a paper titled Computer Systems Established, Maintained, and Trusted by Mutually Suspicious Groups in 1982. The Blinding Formula, one of Chom's contributions to Bitcoin, was created. Chom successfully demonstrated how it can safely send and receive digital tokens without a central authority using cutting, edge cryptography and encryption technologies. In the 1990s, Chom's company DigiCash introduced a digital currency called eCash to put his theories into effect. Despite the interest that eCash received from organizations like Microsoft, DigiCash ran out of money by 1998. The eCash trial would still encourage additional advancement in the blockchain sector. Many developers attempted to design a digital token that would replicate the price stability of gold after being inspired by Chom's example. For instance, electronic coins like BitGold and eGold first appeared in the late 1990s. Despite the failure of these tokens, Satoshi Nakamoto, the person who created Bitcoin, was influenced by them to model Bitcoin after the qualities of gold, particularly its scarcity. Bitcoin's History, 2008-2010 During the collapse of the housing bubble, Bitcoin, BTC, was born. Peer-to-peer -peer internet based money was envisioned by Satoshi Nakamoto. Oh, in the renowned white paper Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, which was published in 2008. Nakamoto advocated a limited quantity of 21 million bitcoins by drawing inspiration from earlier currencies with a gold theme. Additionally, they used the proof of work POW consensus process to confirm the legitimacy of all transactions made on the Bitcoin network. It's interesting to note that this cutting, edge confirmation mechanism was first used with the failed 90s project HashCash, whose primary goal was to reduce spam emails. To add new transactions to a blockchain, proof of work POW requires computers to solve an algorithmic puzzle. This blockchain is accessible to everyone and contains all network transactions. On the Bitcoin network, miners employ computing power and are compensated with BTC for each block that is verified. Up until the 21 million coin supply is met, these Bitcoin awards have been cut in half every four years. Early in 2009, Nakamoto mined the Genesis block, the first Bitcoin block, and shortly after, he delivered developer Hal Finney the first successful Bitcoin transaction. The first real world Bitcoin transaction was made a year later when programmer Laszlo Hanyex spent 10 000 BTC on 10 000 Papa John's pizzas. This day is still commemorated annually by cryptocurrency aficionados on May 22nd with Bitcoin Pizza Day. Even while people who work in the cryptographic field found these advancements intriguing, the general public didn't pay them any attention. There were no significant cryptocurrency exchanges, and news about Bitcoin was only recently starting to circulate online. Satoshi Nakamoto, who is he? One of the biggest unanswered questions in the Bitcoin realm is who Satoshi Nakamoto is. Numerous theories on who Nakamoto is have been put up, however, they are all purely conjecture. A lot of individuals think Nakamoto chose to remain nameless on purpose. If Bitcoin had a leader that was simple to take down, it might not have achieved the same level of success. It's also obvious that Nakamoto had a strong dislike for central planning. 
Nakamoto penned the 2009 headline Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks into Bitcoin's Genesis block, which is how we know this. They believed Bitcoin to be the answer to the myriad problems caused by the 2008 financial crisis. Even if we never learn who Nakamoto is, or was. The impact of the Bitcoin network is undeniable. If anything, some people are more confident in using BTC as money because of Nakamoto's secrecy. Growing Cryptocurrency Market, 2010, 2014 The first real price pump for Bitcoin didn't occur until Forbes covered it in 2011. Following the publication of this report, BTC reached an all-time high, of approximately $9 BTC was formerly trading for about $1 per coin. The initial buzz surrounding Bitcoin was not all favorable, either. Early on, Bitcoin developed a reputation on gray marketplaces online, particularly the Silk Road. The transaction's pseudonymity is primarily to blame for this. Despite research from Kynalysis suggesting that 0.15% of crypto addresses are linked to illicit activity, Bitcoin is still overcoming this negative connotation. The Bitcoin community established the nonprofit Bitcoin Foundation in 2012 to aid in advancing Bitcoin's adoption and acceptance. The same year saw the debut of the first issue of Bitcoin Magazine. New blockchain aficionados joined the fray as Bitcoin started to gain popularity. The majority of the initial cryptocurrencies were forked off of Bitcoin as a result of this. Some of these original altcoins, like Litecoin and Ripple's XRP, are still actively traded even if many of them are no longer well known. Scams and Ethereum's Growth, 2014, 2016 Bitcoin's price reached the triple-digit range in the early 2010s, and usage kept rising, but cryptocurrency took a significant PR hit in 2014. Hackers stole 850,000 BTC from the large Bitcoin exchange MT. Gox, resulting in a serious security breach. Early in the decade of the 2010s, neither centralized cryptocurrency exchanges, nor insurance policies were available, and wallet technology was still in its infancy, CXs. Many users who lost money as a result of the MT. Gox hack are still waiting for their money to be returned. The 2015 launch of Ethereum was a noteworthy event that occurred during this period as well. Before Ethereum, most non-Bitcoin cryptocurrency proposals were small technical modifications of peer to peer payment systems. The creators of Ethereum had bigger plans for blockchain technology. Ethereum aimed to decentralize the internet rather than serve as a payment or a store of wealth. When certain circumstances were met, developers offered ideas like automated, smart contracts that could carry out tasks entirely with code. It rose to fame as a universal computer that could unceasingly run complicated programs and nodes all around the node. NFTs, non-fungible tokens, and DeFi, decentralized finance, apps were both created on Ethereum. The second, largest cryptocurrency in the world, Ethereum, catapulted fast to prominence. The Ethereum protocol was soon being used by hundreds of projects to create dApps, decentralized applications. However, Ethereum's early years weren't all successful. In a decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, that was meant to act as an investment vehicle. Ethereum was severely hacked in 2016. An estimated $60 million of this $150 million fund was stolen by hackers. How to respond to the DAO hack caused division within the Ethereum community. Some claim they had to refund the money by forking the current blockchain into a new Ethereum because it was one of the first sizable investments in Ethereum. Others argued that the original Ethereum should be kept because real DeFi should not require any human interference. The Ethereum community ultimately opted to proceed with the fork. Although the original Ethereum Classic chain is still active, the split Ethereum is far more popular. The Increase in Acceptance of Cryptocurrencies, 2018, Present The price of Bitcoin soared between 2017 and 2018. It broke through the $10,000 mark for the first time and briefly reached $20,000 before plunging into a crypto winter. During this time, developers frequently engaged in contentious debates on how to expand the Bitcoin network, while some left Bitcoin to form Bitcoin Cash, 
Bitcoin supporters proposed adding a unique settlement layer now known as the Lightning Network on top of Bitcoin. The Ethereum ecosystem underwent a lot of changes at this time as well. Notably, after the game CryptoKitties caused congestion on the blockchain, NFTs began to develop as distinctive digital collectibles. Decentralized exchanges, DEXs, one of the DeFi projects, have also begun to be built on Ethereum. Despite all of this innovation, the crypto market didn't come back to life until 2020. Bitcoin reached its peak during this bull cycle at approximately $70,000 per coin. The balance accounts of large corporations like MicroStrategy and Tesla include Bitcoin. In actuality, El Salvador has approved Bitcoin as legal money. Due to the rising popularity of NFTs and metaverse games, Ethereum also drew more users. However, most of this excitement faded as 2021 gave way to 2022. In addition to macroeconomic challenges, Terraform Labs US dollar stablecoin UST dropped to zero, dealing a serious blow to the cryptocurrency market. UST affiliated centralized lending organizations and crypto VCs saw the same decline as the overall crypto market. Despite these unfavorable reports, the crypto sector's 2022 market cap remains at $1 trillion. This is end of this video. Do you feel it helpful? Make sure to give your valuable response in our comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.